Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri, and that is a wild boar! Do you guys see that? <gasps> he just snuck behind our redwood tree! Oh, that is what I am here for! Okay, that's a cow. I am not here for the cow, but the boar! Did you guys see it? A wild boar! Oh, I have a- oh, there it is! I have a friend named Osha who's going to be very, very happy that we ran into a wild boar here in our redwood red wolf national forest. But hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. Today we are going to see how uh, Tate's practice at Checkers is going and we are also going to head and going ahead and we are going to get to work on fixing up this. The um, somewhat completely wrecked, very old, really dusty, abandoned archaeology center so that we have somewhere safe for all of our park rangers to come. And once they get over here, we'll be able to start making paths, hopefully figuring out where all of the wild wolves are hanging out, Tate. Oh, do you go a little, little kiss on the nose for Tate? Mwah, little kiss on the face for Lily. Oh, so, do you want do you want a little kiss on the face, Sunflower? I can't I can't quite reach. Hold still, Sunflower. Yeah. Okay. Does that count? <laughs> oh, but yeah, we're gonna check in on these two. They seem to be doing fine, and I want to work on fixing up the archaeology center today so that we can really get to the wild parts. It feels kind of weird to spend so much time on our building when really I just kind of want to be making a ton of paths and exploring our entire- Oh, there's a butterfly! Oh, and exploring the forest because I'm really here for the wild animals after all. But we are going to need this building in order to have all of the people and the staff come so that we can take care of the entire park, which is actually quite a huge area. Everywhere that the light touches a beautiful temperate forest and also this very special silk glade that's off in the distance is where we are going to be having our Redwood, Na Redwood Red Wolf National Park. And where hopefully we will have a lot of our red wolves from our zoo be able to make their home, become quite cozy, spread about, have puppies, should be awesome. And we also want to make sure that we can get paths to all of the different dens we found. And we did mark the dens down too. So let me go ahead and see. I want to remember where are all the dens if we look at the map. So if we're looking at the map, we have one, two, three, four, five dens. We have, the closest one is going to be the crystal den, where we are going to try to really fill it up with a ton of crystals. The furthest one is the glowing snails den. And, or like the next one is the glowing snails den, which is actually next to a waterfall. Very beautiful. And then down to the south, we have the starry skies den, the jade mosaic den, and the fossil and bone den. And our job, once we get the research center tidied up, is going to be building paths to all five of those dens so that our researchers and park rangers can go and check in on our red wolves and also somehow making it so that we can get over to the silk glade wolves. So we have some silver silk wolf pack. That's what the wolf pack is called. The silver silk wolf pack. Uh, I don't know why they're called wolves. I, I think that was something that the Patreon researchers decided on. An inside joke, perhaps. But we want to be able to get to them, and I'm actually thinking it might be really fun to maybe make a little channel, like a tunnel, that connects the lake behind our research center to this river. And then maybe we'll make it so you can just kind of boat all the way up there, and then there could be a little boathouse. Because that would be really cool. I think building a huge trail that would kind of span through the entire forest and eventually even show off a lot of the beauty, the natural beauty that I'm sure we're going to find here. That would be fun too. But I think having like a little boating trail might be kind of nice. And if we start kind of opening up a few of the paths, we might actually be able to like have a huge boating tour. Oh my gosh. Maybe we could connect up those waterways. That would be really cool too. So clearly, my friends, there's a lot to do, and we aren't even in the zoo. But alright, let me turn off the dens. There we go. Don't need that showing up on my GPS just now. And first things first, the building. So, 
Tate, you stay here and practice your checkers. I'm sure one day you will be able to be talented enough to go and participate in Zomberry Village's checker matches. Uh, in fact, I actually want to spruce up this place and bring over any of the Zomberry Villagers, our previous uh, zombie villagers who have become normal villagers once more through rehabilitation and the golden apples. I want to bring them over if they're archaeologists so that they can start having a new job. They could they could kind of dig through some of the old archaeology things. And that'd be a great thing to kind of give our villagers some new careers through the world. I'm sure they'd be quite happy with it. All right, Lily, you stay here. You enjoy the pizza. Sunflower, uh, enjoy, enjoy. And let's go in and start figuring out <laughs> where we should start working here. I don't think that's a hard thing to figure out since I literally have holes in the ceiling. So, hmm, I have bones and plums in my backpack. And of course chocobo feathers because I like went within a breeze's distance of sunflower. And she's always molting for some reason. Uh, do I have... Okay, and I don't have anything else because we tidied up our bags so well last time. Ooh, and that's right, I do want to come out here and I want to make... Oh, a butterfly house for all those butterflies! <gasps> Maybe we'll do a new Twitch stream at some point in the future where we run around collecting up the butterflies. Oh, and speaking of which, my friends, we will... Oh, watch your step, Siri. We will be streaming on Twitch with Minecraft in the future because there's such a beautiful audience over on Twitch. I have been enjoying it so much more. The modding is better so that I can really moderate the chat and make sure that you guys have a safe environment. If you would like to join us for really relaxing, chill sessions where we take care of things in the zoo, where we take care of things around the world of Desia, where we really begin, hopefully, making some progress, then do please follow us over on the Twitch, and I would really love to see you guys there. Just remember to follow Twitch's Terms of Service, which includes the age that you need to be, and uh, everything should be peachy. It'll be really awesome. But alright, let's go get some wood. Oh. And you know what? I'm going to make it so that I have a little bit more room when it comes to these spots. Because I, I just, I bonk my head every time. I feel like these stairs could be better. There's a huge hole in the floor there. So we'll go down to the basement. Or, excuse me, the first floor. And let's start with some building material. Alright. Where did I put the building material? Let's start with some signs, too. <laughs> did I bring material for signs? That sounds like something a logical person would do. So I don't know if I brought buildings for signs or not. <laughs> I really, really, really hope I did. Uh, but we have some spruce wood here. We've got some oak wood, twilight oak wood. Uh, let's see, ooh, there we go. Some normal oak wood. I wanna figure out like what type. The rubber wood, we can turn into all sorts of things. What can we use rubber wood for? Oh, it makes a really nice rubber wood log box that actually might make good decoration. I kind of think it'd be sort of fun. Bear with me here. But I kind of think it'd be sort of fun to use like some of these crates to patch up the holes. I know that seems really, really, really weird, but hear me out. Like what if we put one, not right there. Not right there either. <laughs> oh geez, where's the glorious grafter? There you are, glorious grafter. All right, so bear with me. Those are totally in the wrong spot. But I, I kind of want the place to have a little bit of an eclectic, eclectic look. I kind of like that. I, I really do, because it makes it look like you grabbed a couple boards. And you know how in the movies, when somebody fixes a broken patch in a wall, they just cross a couple boards and like pound in the nails. I kind of like that look right there. What I don't like is that nether rock. Do I have any stone that we can use to kind of replace all these stones? And I do want to replace this glowstone chandelier with a tree that sort of like comes down from the ceiling. Because why not? I think that'd be beautiful. And I do want to actually make a door to the outside, probably right here, and then another one right here. And then, in fact, well, I don't have any armor on, and it's nighttime. I do need to go back to the house to get the armor. But let me, let me just show you. <gasps> a fawn! Hi, little guy. I'm just gonna come down here and grab these. Don't you worry about me. Like, I'm not gonna get ya. Oh, I need to get back in. Still not gonna get ya, little guy. I'm actually gonna take that down. So that hopefully nothing can come and get me. Alright, let's put the ancient wood back in. 
Oh, look at him. I wonder if he got lost on this side of the river. But what I want to do is actually come over and make a doorway that comes out to this little tiny island. And we'll have the butterfly house at the back back here. Oh, and that is a cobweb. We can get that down. That would be so fun. But all right, if I'm going to do that, I need doors. <laughs> Let's build some doors before we end up getting some really spooky creepers or skeletons or a werewolf. There are actually werewolves. What am I doing? Hurry, Siri, door, door, door. Carpenter door, which means carpenter blocks. Where are my carpenter blocks? I thought I brought a bunch of those. I did not. All right. First order of business, carpenter blocks. And we'll build a couple doors to the outside that I hope I won't regret. Like I just immediately have thoughts of zombies and all sorts of creatures coming up. I guess I need some doors upstairs too. So I guess doors, doors are kind of a necessity right at this moment. Uh, we want these, oh wait. Okay, so we want oak wood planks. Thank you. And we want to surround the planks. There we go. Might as well just grab all of these carpenter pieces. There. Oh, it's been so long, but it feels so good to finally just be making some of the basics. All right. So, oh, look at him. So cute. All right, we'll put the door there and I'll figure out like what it's supposed to look like, what direction it's supposed to face. Where is my carpenter hammer? Somewhere in here. I could have sworn I had one. Cause didn't we have that on the list? Oh, okay. I know this is ridiculous, but I'm so freaking happy right now, guys. We're building, we're building. Do you know how long it's been since I have been able to do, whoops, sorry about that. So long I'm like totally messing up all the buttons, but it's been so long since I've just been able to do like some basic building things in Minecraft. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need to make a chisel. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a new chisel because I have once again misplaced, no, not a chisel. I have once again misplaced my carpenter hammer. One day, many and many, many years from now. Thank goodness I brought so much iron. People will roam across the world of Dacia and they will continually find stray carpenter's hammers. They will think that there used to be an entire population of carpenters, a whole community. Perhaps an entire civilization of carpenters. But no, it was just the fact that Siri kept losing her carpenter's hammers and had to keep making more new ones. All right, cause see like this one comes out to the water, but I either want to make, that's just a cow butt, nobody panic, nobody panic. But I either want to make a, um, like the island come out this far, which we'll probably need to do if we want to make a butterfly house, or it'd be cute to have like a little pier. And I actually was thinking about making a, uh oh, um, I didn't want to do that. Nope, 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 nope. Told you guys that these crates were going to be useful. Oh dear. I hear something going splashy splashy at me. Oh, that's a clam. That's so cool. And you know what? We need to light up the outside. Well, we'll make that happen eventually. Um, oh, oh dear. That was like no time at all. I was going to go get that chicken and have a pet chicken. And instead I hear the clitter clitter of, ugh. Okay, we might have to go back to the house. We have to go get a couple things from the house anyway, even though that means a big flight with sunflower because we need to get ferns, we need to get eggs, and I forgot my armor. Armor, you goose. Oh dear. Really? Do I have a zombie at my door now? <gasps> the chicken! Okay, friend, if you're here begging for sanctuary, I cannot turn my back. Quickly, quickly, chicken, quickly. Haha! All right, we saved the chicken. Yay! Oh my gosh, I didn't even think we would need name tags and like an anvil so that we could have little friends. But welcome, little friend. You shouldn't be here. This is a forest for red wolves. What are you doing here? I have no idea, but you're adorable and I love chickens. I kind of want to name you like Chickweed. <gasps> you guys, clearly 
some, uh, just as we have ancient carpenters scattered around the world of Desia, uh, we have a whole bunch of native animal or non-native invasive species in our forest, and we will have to find new homes and a way to remove the cows, the many, many, many cows, pigs, and so on from our forest. But I think it's okay if we keep a few chickens as pets. They can produce eggs after all. Very useful, aren't you, chickweed? All right, can I name chickweed? This is good. Having to do some of the basics like this, really, I think there's a ton of name tags upstairs. I kind of want to name that baby fawn too. Do you guys have a good name for the baby fawn? We should name it. Of course, we should name all of the animals that like more or less stick around. And that way we'll have little GPS trackers on them and we can keep track of them. Uh, all right, but I'm going to need an anvil. Oh, Chickweed, you're going to follow me because I'm wearing the flower headband. Okay, that's adorable. You're welcome to do that. Yeah, I'm going to need an anvil. And we have a big old thing of gold just sticking there that I should probably go ahead and put into my pocket. Fossil finder, you shouldn't be here. Where's Chick Pickety? My silk touch. There's my silk touch. All right, we'll dig you up. Move you. We probably don't need these furnaces just in the middle of the room like this. So I'll move these. And today we are going to figure out how to name this chicken. So let's see. We're going to need an anvil, three blocks of iron, and four ingots. Did I bring enough iron? Oh, thank goodness I did. I am so proud of myself for bringing all of this. All right, three blocks of iron, ingots, there we go. We now have an anvil for the area so that we can name all of the animals. And for name tags, I always need more name tags. Slime balls, aw oh, man. I don't think I have any slime balls on me. Fooey, tar drops, don't have that either. Paper and string, huh. Yeah, I may not have any slime balls on me to be able to name chickweed just yet. Let's run upstairs and we'll check. Hang on, Chickweed. I'm going to check if I have anything in here. I have tons of paper. Thank goodness. Anything in here? No. Rude. I know, right, Lily? I just heard Lily and Tate whining. All right. I don't think Chickweed can follow me upstairs. See how cute it is just with the random patches of... Uh-oh. Why are my dogs crying out in pain? Lily and Tate, mom's coming. Who's gotcha? I'll give him the what fours. Tate! Tate, you can't just sit there until you like start starving of hunger because you're so busy playing chess, my boy. Like that's not how this works because you're not close enough to the food dish. Tate, <laughs> darling, you can, that's not how you play chess. All right, come on Tate. Let's scoot you over. All right, come here. And then I'm going to have him come over here. There we go. Don't worry, guys. Tate's going to be okay. I know he looks really scary right now. They just look like that when they get injured. But he's near. He's close enough to his food bowl now. And I'll go ahead and swap. Oh, he just took my pizza. That's okay, Tate. You can have the pizza for now. <laughs> and I'll move where the checkers are. Oh, that that's not how we play checkers. All right. There you go, puppers. All right. And Tate, I guess I need a dog bed now. Jeez. Tate's all bloodied up. I need, I need slime. How can I get slime so that I can make that name tag? Let's see. I wish there was a better recipe for slime other than animal glue, uh, but we can make animal glue out of leather. I didn't know that. You can get leather from all sorts of sources. Okay. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I have a lot of different ways that you can get leather. I could have killed that zombie! We can kill that zombie that was chasing Chickweed to be able to name Chickweed. <laughs> Talk about irony. Or I could go up. I'm not killing a giraffe. You absolutely are not going to have me do that. Uh, but let's go get that zombie then. I totally forgot that zombie jerky. Chickweed, we're going to get you a name yet. And then I need to make Tate a bed. Getting the basics of being in a new place tended to. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see. Uh, Zombino, you're probably fine. Avaski, zombie, where'd he go? Don't worry, boar, you are safe from me. All right, 
Maybe he's gone already because the daytime has come. He was hanging out outside my window, though. Did he leave any rotten flesh behind? Rude. Anything over here? No. We have a chickweed friend, though. Hmm. There's a fox. We should probably name... You guys should start giving me names for the animals that we see roaming the forest. It may be a while before I can name them because I have to get a name tag amongst other things. But now I know. So alright, now I know I can actually go ahead and name chickweed. I just have to get some zombie flesh and I think I have some. Let's see. I usually carry a little thing of zombie jerky for the puppers. But apparently I don't have any. Okay, well, Chickweed, your name is going to have to wait. Can I at least make a dog bed so that the puppers will be okay? Let's see. Bed. Dog bed. The dog bed can be a little tricky to find for some reason. Hay bed, hospital bed. Um, oh, what's it called? Puppy? No, not hush puppies. Uh, I would think it would be called bed. But for some reason, it doesn't show up if you search for bed anymore. Unless that's it. That is indeed it. Huh. Interesting. Well, I know I can craft it out of different types of wood. So let's grab some oak wood planks recipe. And it is a... Let's see. No, no, no. Uh, uses. There we go. All right. Give me just a second. These are not... These are all kitty beds. It'd be kind of cool to have a cat around here. Ooh, and the little wood pillars. Oh, we could make some really nice wood pillars in here. We just need some maple wood. That would look awesome to have some columns in here. Yeah. Why didn't I think about that before? That'd be really cool. Uh, and then we also have planters that we could make. Mini stairs. I wonder what the mini stairs would look like. That might be really pretty. I wonder if those would work. Uh, you can also make, wow, some different kinds of lights. I really haven't looked in here in a while. <laughs> Some grape stomp tubs. Um, you can make a horse statue, which would be kind of interesting. A wooden table, a cabinet. Gosh, I really haven't looked in here for a little while. And there's quite a bit that we could actually craft. Uh, the seed storage, which I haven't used in donkey days. Goodness gracious, I'm just trying to find a puppy bed. And I know it's hiding in here somewhere. How many mods do I have? I don't even remember. A dye table! That sounds really cool, too! Oh, man, and the seed analyzer? I haven't even used those things in so long. Gosh, yes, yeah, spruce door. Okay, I'll keep going. Wait, spruce door? Spruce door? And a salon door? <laughs> and a shoji door? Spruce door sounds really pretty. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of things. Dog, dog, dog. I wish the dog bed recipe wasn't broken. Because it'd be so easy to find. Ah! Alright, I'll have to figure out how to get the puppy bed. Because um, I know it's probably really simple, but I guess I need wool for it anyway. Ah! Alright. Well, that was a lot of running around without really accomplishing it too much. But maybe I can at least get the anvil down somewhere. If we need to name things, that would probably be like GPS tracking. So I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to put, remove these, and we'll put the anvil down there. There we go. Put that away. Furnace is away for now, because I don't think we need those. And then these are going to be like, okay, I have to move all of the fossils back to my house. And here's our plants. There, okay. Yeah, we're starting to get the hang of it. And I rescued a chicken. That makes me pretty happy. And I know I need to make dog beds, but I have to figure out where the dog beds have run off to. Um... And I know I like these crates. I think I might just fill up a whole bunch of the holes with the crates. And then we will build around them. Because that's just too much fun. And like this, definitely removing this. I'm not really into the netherrack look for this place. There. Look at how cute that is though. <laughs> to just kind of like plunk. There we go. <laughs> I love that look. That looks a lot better. It actually blends a lot, lot better than the spruce wood. Well, it kind of does. <laughs> the ancient wood's a little hard to match things with, so we'll figure it out. We will figure it out indeed. At least that's a start. All right, well, gosh, where'd chickweed go? 
And Tate's still not okay, because I think we need to get him a puppy bed. So, all right, guys, I'm going to figure out where the heck the dog beds have gone. Uh, I need to come up with slime. So, slime for name tags, uh, which we also need dog beds. Gosh, getting a new area established is definitely a little bit more work than I remember. But you know what? Slowly and surely, we will get it done. So next time, I think I'm going to work on a couple of the little specialties that we figured out. And then we might even start working on our butterfly house just because. Look at all the butterflies. We can take breaks to go catch butterflies while we rebuild this place. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Chickweed. I'm very happy to have a new addition to the family wherever Chickweed has run off to. I hope we can find Chickweed. Oh, did Chickweed slip out the, the non-existent wall? Okay, Chickweed might have slipped out the non-existent wall. I'm going to need to correct that. Having in a chicken, like a chicken escape hatch is not part of the design of this building. <laughs> oh, and if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But otherwise, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.